Hey everybody, I thought I would give a quick update on how things are progressing regarding the LAPS exploit as well as PS3. So just to get everybody back up to speed here, we saw over on the PS5 Research and Development Discord a person named ABC and they said we're happy to release the LAPS exploit. And now this was a kernel exploit for the PlayStation 4 and for the PlayStation 5. Now, originally when they built this, this only works for PS4 8.0 only, and it said that other firmwares need to be ported, as well as there is no PS5 support at the moment. Now, shortly after this, we saw that Chameleon released a PS3, which was the starting work of PS3 version 1.50, which was a work in progress port to get this working with firmwares 9.00. Now, obviously, he reached out to a number of folks for help. And what it looks like we have is, is that as of today, we have Alazif, who has posted this and said 99% ported to 8.00 to 9.60. So missing the JOP chains because I jumbled them up a bit doing multiple firmwares at once and probably just use the ones from other implementations directly. Now they did put a GitHub repo over here. And if we go to that, you can see that now it does state that PS3 is version 1.51. So again, do keep in mind that 1.50 was the one that Chameleon had, and now we are seeing a 1.51, but it is coming from a different repo. Now in this version 1.51, it does state here that PS3 is a collection of exploits for the PS4 console, and that the main focus for the PS4, but we're going to try to make things portable for the PS5. Now, what is included in this is auto detection, so it would automatically detect the console top and the firmware version, and that's all thanks to this new config.mjs. And then we see that it does state that this is a WebKit exploit. Again, all WebKits are typically triggered with going to the console's web browser and this will only go up to 9.60, which is why I released a video just the other day being very happy because we soon will no longer need that USB drive for those 9.00 users. Now, the kernel exploit is called LAPS, and that is what escalates the privileges to the kernel level. Now, he did state in here that the payload loader is still a work in progress. And so here is just a quick summary of things, again, in the vulnerability scope. So again, PlayStation 4, 6.00, all the way up to 9.60. Now, a kernel exploit, which is LAPS, works all the way up to 12.02. The PlayStation 5, it goes up to 5.50. And for LAPS, which is the kernel exploit, it goes up to 10.01. Now, one thing that is super important to understand right now is, is that supported by this repository is, is that for PlayStation 4, if you're on version 8.00 to 8.03, then this will trigger properly. Again, LAPS is only supported right now for 8.00 to 8.03. And again, right now, they are not really working on the PlayStation 5. But the good news is, is that Alizif has stated that they are very close to getting this ported for 8.00 to 9.60. Now, there was a bit more of information in here, and I will let you go. And it did state here that I won't be able to finish it until next weekend as I have stuff that I need to get done this week. I'll take PRs if somebody submits them. So if anybody does want to submit a PR, then that would be great. And then also thanks to ABC 
for posting the original implementation, which again, I've showed you over here. Okay, there was one other question that was in here, and it was, will we have these implementations for other firmware versions, for example, 11.0, that firmwares affected by the exploits used are listed in the readme in simple to read tables? And yes, those were pretty easy tables. And for this one, laps will work, but PS3 won't work as an entry point. Okay, that's going to do it for this one, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.